Okay, in this tutorial, um, continue from part 3. So we will focus on um, saving data to text file. For example, uh, when you select the type of page and size and quantity, and then when you place the order, we should be able to save um, IN 559 number 1 and then size small as 0. That's what we're trying to do. So for UI design, instead of um, come up with a new design, so let me just um, use what we have already have. So anchor pane can be uh, left into uh, tab pane. So right hand side mouse click, browse through, and say tab pane. So what just happened is uh, anchor pane was left into tab pane. So you can see there is one tab. Let me save it first. Then you can introduce another tab that may belongs to tab pane. So this tab pane we have a two tabs. Okay, this is how it looks like. Obviously, you can uh, name your tabs if you want to. So um, the first one I will name it as a uh, uh, order. Second tab, I will name it as, uh, I think, say summary. So let's look at review. Okay, we have uh, two tabs. For sales tabs, um, or say some of the tabs, I like to have a blue box. Then um, I will add one. I think I will add one button and then one uh, text area. Okay, let me enlarge it. Then go back to. Um, Box. You can send, you can set certain uh, paddings and space. I will use uh, 10 pixels and then 5 pixel for spacing. So for review, we have one button, one text area. Okay, for uh, button, I will name it as a uh, calculate. Sales. Then I will name it as a PTN calculate sales. Uh, event handler, I will say handle. Calculate sales button action. Try to use the same convention. I mean, the same naming convention here. Text area TA sales summary. Don't forget, I already have a TA summary. I think that seems okay to me now. Save it. And then update controller. So make controller here. Okay, we introduced to uh, FX ID. So if you look at here, um, we have one method called handle calculate sales button actions. Then uh, if you go up here, uh, line number 82, when uh, when you take place order, we we process the order and then show it to um, TA summary. 
maybe that's the place we should be able to save it. Okay, so let me just create one method to deal with the uh, um, file, I mean text IO. Okay, I will name it as a uh, write order record. Okay, I may pass the uh, page object, so it will be a lot easier to um, to process it here. I'm using file writer because I like to um, uh, keep the existing data. I don't want to override it, so I'm using file writer here. Then uh, print writer um, because file writer doesn't have a methods to process uh, primitive data types like an integer, double, or um, uh, other data types. So I may need to use the methods belongs to print writer. So that's why I'm using it here. So I will say file new file writer. I may use a constructor with uh, two parameters. And then the first one is reports to uh, default uh, directory under NetBase directory. So it's supposed to be on the source. And uh, I'm using Windows, so I'm using two backslash here. Uh, to to separate the directory uh, with the source Java FX application 57, which is my project name. And then uh, size.txt will be my file. The true reports to um, I like to append the continuously. So I like to keep the existing data. So you may need to use the constructor with two parameter. Default value for the second parameter is false, so we need to change to true here. Let me put some comments for that. Okay, now output object and then print write, uh, then write to same file. Okay, same file as uh, text.txt. Okay, you can see print and print array methods. So get pizza type. Then uh, let me check the order. So first one is type, size, price, quantity. Okay. So type. With one space. I will say, um, I think that was a size and then uh, pizza dot doesn't get price then the last one was a uh, quantity okay missing plus symbol there So let me add comments for now. So the formatted output, uh, what I mean is here, uh, data between two data. So I'm using uh, space as a separator instead of comma.
The last thing you need to do is for text IO is closed open stream. So output to close. Then catch uh, basically exception handling. File not found exception. Then uh, IO exception. So basically saying either you cannot locate the uh, file called sage.txt or something wrong with uh, your storage device. Your case maybe a uh, hard disk drive. Also, I will use finally to to um, oh, okay. Let me import it first um, to make sure the open upper stream is closed. If it's not, so not equal to null, then let me manually close it. Just just uh, in case. I think that seems like uh, okay now. Okay, I'm using file writer to overwrite the, no, sorry, uh, continue append the data sets. Then, um, I'm borrowing some methods to, to file writer out of, uh, print writer. Okay, I will change the name of method to simplify. Just say write record. Then, uh, let me use it. Okay. So if you look at line number 86, become 87, I will say write the record. I need to pass one parameter, which is a pizza object. Okay, you should be able to see that, okay. There's a passing parameter pizza. Then uh, it's exactly the same, so I will copy the statement. Then I'm using a piece of object again, uh, same thing. So let me copy for um, seafood. I think next line, okay. Then let me go with uh, page. So save it here, okay. As you can see, uh, we save to uh, uh, text area, TA summary, then we save to text file. Okay, let me add uh, same dummy data. One Hawaiian. See, um, the sage.txt has been created. And then seafood and Bezi. So same data is supposed to be in sage.txt. Okay, three data sets. Same as on uh, TA summary on uh, order tab. Okay. Okay, let me just um, fix the minor issue here. Um, Data on TA was uh, not the same order as the data in sage.txt. So let me uh, copy page size to at the end so that it may appear as a last data set on, I mean, uh, out of sage.txt. So it should be same order. Okay, that will be a lot easier to uh, double check. Okay. Okay, now we will focus on uh, how to read sage.txt so that we can do um, uh, simple calculations for uh, subtotal and total. Okay, let me start with uh, comments.
I will name it as a lead record. So let me create one method dealing with uh, sage.txt um, to lead uh, the data sets. I will use a scanner class. Again, it's the same uh, file. We need, we need a file object to uh, to reverse to sage.txt. Then uh, scanner class to lead uh, data sets. Okay, I think I will just say uh, null. Then I will process it with this in uh, try and catch. Make sure you import scanner class on the Java util scanner. Can you file it's the same locations? Okay, source Java FX application 57 in my case. Then sales.txt. Don't forget, um, NetBeans project's default directory is on the SIC source. So let me create a scan object called input. Then uh, let me make it comment. Basically, say uh, create a scan object. We should be able to lead like a line by line or record uh, for the first record, second record, and third record or row by row. So you may need to use a uh, while loop. So um, as next until it will return the premium value on page code saying if we have a next line, uh, we we'll say true. If it's not, it will false. It will return the false value so that we can stop reading it. So it's going to read uh, at least three records. Okay, let me just look at it again. Type, size, price, quantity. Okay. Type. The price is double, so and then next uh, double. And the quantity is an integer, so int quantity and then next int. Again, last one is an uh, integer, so int size equal to. Uh, input next int. So we have a four data sets, okay? I mean four columns to lead for one, one record. Okay, let me um, close the input stream. Then uh, again, uh, e session handling for while now bound exception and then uh, maybe next one for uh, IO exception. Then I will uh, use a finally state one as well to 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 make sure uh, we close the input stream. I think I forgot one line after uh, 139, so line number 140. Say TA, say summary, up and text. Once we uh, read the data, we should be able to print it on onto text area. 
So I will use the same style. Uh, let me just put uh, all those data with a space, then I will add the space later on. So uh, pri type, pizza type, price, and quantity and size, okay. So let me use some space. And um, maybe I will use uh, one space between uh, columns. Something we can read or something readable, okay. Let's try uh, how it works. So say summary, click the button, say it's, let me check. Okay. It actually leads the same numbers, okay. Uh, integer double, integer, and then integer again, okay. So it seems like working. Okay. Okay. Let me focus on. Um, I just add a new line at the end. So um, let me focus on subtotal for each order. Then uh, I will come up with the total size. So let's say double subtotal uh, default value zero point zero. Is this a straightforward uh, subtotal reports to? Um, uh, price multiplied by uh, quantity. Okay, that's all. Then let me print it. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't, I forgot to add one space, but now it's there. Okay, uh, double total. So we sum up all subtotals. Okay, if there are three orders, uh, there should be three subtotals. Uh, let me add them all. So here to TA summary, sorry, TA says summary, open text. Then uh, after loop conditions, we should be able to see total. I will say total says, then uh, total, okay? Just in case new line at the end. Okay, uh, then let's calculate uh, total. I think total is supposed to be here after 149, sorry, 145, so line number 146. So total plus equal subtotal. Okay, so continue add up numbers. I mean, continue add subtotals one by one. So in this case, three times. So that's the one, okay. 559, 1918, uh, 459. So let me show you. Okay, calculate it here. Okay, same. Calculations, okay, result is same. Okay, let me add uh, one heading. So, um, TA summary, sorry, uh, TA sales summary, and then uh, open text. OK, 
Okay, I think I will copy, paste instead of typing this. Okay, so that's the same order, so let's say type. Okay, I don't need a uh, space here, so I will use a tab instead of a space. Okay, next one, uh, it should be price. Okay, instead of a space, I will try to use a tab key. Okay, backslash T, reverse the tab key. Um, normally, nine space. The size one more tab key then uh, subtotal okay can remove it uh, seems okay now so let me go down here uh, add some tab keys okay most likely two of them. Because it has a value, so let me use the two tab keys. Uh, the last one, I don't think so. Okay. Let's see uh, how it looks like. Okay, so in summary, click the buttons. Okay, looks uh, slightly better. Okay, um, I think I just realized it. Uh, the the sort of record is somehow something wrong. The pizza type number zero is supposed to be three, I think. So let me have a look what's going on. So let me go up, not here. Okay, um, yeah, line number 99. That should be pizza dot get, sorry, pizza dot set type instead of price. Okay, so please fix that mistake. I will just type it as it is. Fix it. Okay, then uh, you can reset the data, then you can try again. Okay, let me add one comment here. And then uh, let me see whether I need to put more or not. Uh, seems okay to me. Okay, so um, let me save. Okay, let me think about it. Um, I think I pretty much cover it all. So let me quickly go through uh, what I have done. So pizza class, I did not add anything new, or I did not change anything. So it's the same as the last one. Okay, um, size.txt, again, uh, nothing new. Okay, that has to be three. If you want to test it again, okay, because that was a mistake. Okay, here um, I add two new methods, okay. Just make sure you fix that, okay? So I have a one method called um, read, read record. Okay, we're using a um, file object and then scan object. And then uh, write record, we are using two objects called file writer and print writer. Okay? The, because the print writer uh, has a set of method to say primary data type. Okay, so if you look at here, uh, let me add one more just in case. Okay, it will appear shortly. Okay, it will automatically load. So we have four data now. You can see um, subtotal is 77.31. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you.